This is a basic primer for using the TI-84 Plus or the TI-83 Plus calculator to work with matrices. We are going to enter matrices into the calculator. We're going to do some basic operation on matrices. And we're going to solve a system of equations two different ways using matrices. To enter a matrix, you go to the second key in the upper left hand corner of the keyboard press it once and then press the key with with the X to the uh, negative one it has the word matrix right above it this brings us to the matrix menu here you'll see we've got three submenus the names in which we can pick the name of each matrix a b c d e f g and then there's a few more the math operations determinant identity so forth lots of different operations on the matrices and then finally our third menu here is edit in which we can uh, use this menu to enter elements into a matrix or to change elements in an existing matrix so here's where we want to start we're gonna edit matrix A by default matrices are one by one in the calculator so I'm gonna change this to a two by two matrix by going to enter two enter and now you see we've got four elements a two by two matrix where we can start putting the elements of the matrix in so I'm gonna put in um, negative two two five and negative four one thing to be careful of when you put in elements of a matrix if one of those elements is negative use this key down here to indicate that it's negative not this that's the subtraction key different okay let's have a look at our matrix so I'm gonna hit second matrix and I'm gonna hit enter to pick the name of matrix A notice that the variables have a bracket around them to indicate it's a matrix when I hit enter this lets me see the elements of the matrix just like I entered I'm gonna enter a second matrix now Now suppose I want to add matrix A and matrix B together. Use the addition sign just like you would with regular numbers. And we see they're added together. If we want to multiply matrices together, we can just use the multiplication symbol here. I'm going to use a shortcut of second last entry and then I'm gonna backspace here to just change this one symbol and like so multiplication I can also multiply by uh, real numbers for instance 5 multiplied by matrix A and we see that every element in matrix A has been multiplied by 5 now the real lifting power of the calculator is to do things like finding the determinant and finding the inverse of a matrix. We can find the determinant like this. Second matrix and then we go to math. And it's the first one on the list, debt. And this will find the determinant of matrix A negative two if we want to find the inverse of matrix A we use our x to the power negative one key look at that very speedy and quick now we know that this is the um, 
the inverse because when we multiply a matrix by its inverse, it gives us the identity matrix. Watch this. A multiplied by its inverse. Here's the identity matrix, a 2 by 2. Now suppose we want to solve this system of equations. 2x plus 3y minus z is equal to 11. 3x minus 2y plus 4z is equal to 10. And x plus 4y minus 2z is equal to 8. We want to put in the coefficients of all the variables in a 3 by 3 matrix. I'm going to edit matrix A to be a 3 by 3. And I'm going to enter the coefficients of the equation. 2, 3, negative 1, 3, negative 2, 4, 1, 4, and negative 2. Now the second matrix is going to be a 3 by 1. And those are going to be 11, 10, and 8. So how do we use these two matrices to solve the system? We take the inverse of matrix A and multiply it by that 3 by 1 matrix, which we put in B. And the resulting matrix are the answers to uh, our equations. x is 4, y is 1, and z is 0. The second way to solve this system of equations is to use an augmented matrix. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the augment command to attach that 3 by 1 matrix B to matrix A. And I'm going to store it in C. Now we see here that matrix B has been augmented to matrix A. So now we have a matrix that is four columns and three rows. If we use the RREF command, which is under math, B, R, R, E, F, reduced row echelon form, and we apply it to this augmented matrix, which remember it was called C. Here we get what looks kind of like a 3 by 3 identity matrix. But here again are the answers. 4 would be for X, 1 would be for Y, and 0 would be for C.